and welcome back to the channel as you can see today I've got the aerial rider grizzly out I'm gonna take it for a ride so let's hop on and go and and we're off so in this video I want to talk about the aerial rider grizzly because there's a deal going on right now from aerial rider not only on this bike but on all of their bikes right now they have four different models of e-bike and they're all on sale currently for $200 off so I'll just run over the prices of the other ones and then I'll talk a little bit more about this bike because this is the one I own and I'm very familiar with it. I've had it now for a complete calendar year. So they have the, the Kepler and the Kepler is currently running at $17.99, regular $19.99. They have the X-Class which is regularly priced at $23.99, they have it at $21.99. And there are two versions of that. So there's the step through or the step over. So you take your pick. And then the third bike they have is this Aerial Rider Grizzly. And it's uh, regularly priced at $32.99, but right now it is going for $30.99. So pretty good deal. So on all of those bikes, I should mention that they are all shipping, uh, free shipping. And let's talk a little bit about the Grizzly. So the Grizzly, the one I have here is the version two, and they now have a version three. I don't think there's too much difference between the two of them, but the few things that I do know, I will mention to you here. So one thing right off the bat, that I'll mention is that when I got this bike it came with two battery chargers uh, both 5 amp but they're specific to each battery they have their own charger because the plug is different on each one so you can only use a particular one is basically for that battery so but now you only get one charger and I believe it's still 5 amp but you only get one as opposed to having two and it's really nice having the two because I can charge both batteries up at the same time like right now I have both batteries turned on and I can charge up uh, you know both batteries and it's a lot faster than uh, having just one charger and having to swap them after you're done charging the one this is assuming that you've taken both batteries down and they need to be recharged but so that's one thing and one other thing that's different is the headlight apparently they've improved the headlight a lot so i don't know firsthand because i have not seen i've seen version three before but i haven't seen it at night with the headlight on so i don't know I do not know how bright it really is, but they claim it to be a lot brighter than the light on this one. So that's good because that's one of the uh, negatives that I gave the bike when I did a review. Um, something else that's different than when I purchased this one. When I got this bike, there was no choices of color. I had the red and that's it. That's all you could buy. And I'm fine with the red. I like the red. It's, it's not a problem at all. You know but if you like other choices of color they now have them they now have a the red one is still there and then they have a blue one and a yellow one now so you have a few choices if i was to do it again they're all good colors so if i was to do it again now that i've had the red one i think i would probably go for the yellow i think that yellow and black in my opinion looks really cool i i like that look and uh, black and yellow 
depending on the bike. But on this particular bike, I think that black and yellow just stands out. Um, so those are a few things that I know. There may be a few others. When I got this bike, after I had it for a little while, I don't know how many months now, I can't remember exactly the time frame, five maybe, I started to have issues with the controller. First the controller for the rear and then the front. And I had those replaced and the bike was under warranty as it is for one year. And so uh, I was able to get new controllers, put them in, and I've had no problem since. So I think I think they fixed that problem with version three. So anybody that had version two that had issues with controller, I think those have been fixed up because I think the controllers they now gave me, like for this bike, were the ones they're putting in uh, version three. And so far, since I've had that repaired, which has been several months now, uh, I haven't had any problems, but I must admit that I haven't been riding this bike near as much as I have the uh, uh, Lyric Graffiti since I bought it two months ago. So, so those are some of the things, but uh, overall, if you're going to purchase this bike, you're getting a good bike. I mean, I think it's worth the money, even though if I had that money, I would shop around a little bit. But I don't know if you're going to beat it. You know, I don't know if you're going to get better. If you want one that is basically a rugged bike that'll do anything and everything, this is it. I mean, this thing will do, you can do off-road, you can do hill climb. As I'm going to zip up this hill here with two motors on. out a bit here as you can see we're going 33 miles an hour so it really goes so uh, I will leave a link in the descriptions for this bike if you would like to purchase it uh, I'll leave that in the descriptions and also if you're interested in looking at I did two reviews on this bike I did a review after four months and I did another review after ten months uh, so I will leave both of those links as well in the description so if you want to check those out and see uh, see what I thought of the bike after four months and then after ten months uh, as I say I will leave that link in the description you may be interested in checking that out but a pretty good deal right now you don't see these bikes I gotta tell you you don't see them too often on sale I when I purchased mine I paid the full $32.99 free shipping and at the time I bought mine which was a few days before April Fool's Day is, is when the bike turned one year old. Well, when I purchased mine, I bought it uh, when I saw them come back in stock because I finally made my mind up that I'm getting one. And when they came in stock, because they kept selling out and, and were out of stock, once they went back into stock and I had my mind map, I was getting one, I purchased it immediately. And I can tell you, I got the bike within four days. And yeah, the company's up in Washington, Seattle area, and so it didn't take long to get down here to Oregon, but even still, even if you live on the other side of the country, you're gonna get your bike pretty quickly if it's anything like I got mine once it's in stock. So that's gonna do it for this video. So I will leave links in the description, as I say, for the uh, uh, to the uh, bike's uh, site. And I'll also leave a couple of uh, links to the two uh, reviews that I did on the bike. So thank you for joining me on this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. 
If you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. Also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I want to mention one more thing. This video is being recorded on Easter Sunday morning. And I just wanted to mention that, uh, 2023. I just wanted to mention that just in case the sale uh like at the time i'm doing this video the sale is on and i don't know how long the sale is uh going to last for so that's why i wanted to let you know about that so once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time take care